Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? Uh, just doing some home stuff here while we're on vacation. And uh, I'll probably put some content about this later tonight if I can stay awake for it. It's very bright here, but this is Alaska. So, let's get right to it. We have here a vintage Elite Clone Trooper. It's got the twin welding revolvers, which... I don't even know if that's even correct, but this is a figure I picked up out of my, my container of... Lego figures, and I just want to make a point about something. Let's look at his revolvers. I mean, revolver... People were back and forth about Lego not wanting to produce things that look like real farms. And it really doesn't, because an actual revolver, I mean, should have a top strap, unless it's like a black powder, which it probably wouldn't look like this. But it could be like a black powder, like a, um, something from the power era, or, you know, when cap and ball was familiar. And now let's bring out phase one, Commander Cody. This is really the one that got me thinking about this the other day when I was doing some cleanup and looking up for Lego sets at, at a store. And I distinctly remember these guns, which somebody posted they would love to see these come back. And I think I would too. These things look really great. Let's take a look at one a little bit closer. <laughs> Can't see because my big hand's in the way. Okay. Notice the tip here, and then you look like it got an ejection port here. Very distinct square gun. And people say, well, they're going to try really hard to not make guns the way they do in real life. Okay, with this in mind, keep this one in mind. Now, before I bring this firearm out here, that's down. Mm. I'll go ahead and drop the magazine out of it. 32 round bag. Go ahead and open the bolt. She is empty. It is an open bolt. Open. Anyways, does this not look like this? I don't know. I mean, you got the square ejection port right here, just like on a Lego piece. And this piece here could be the suppressor, which they do make a can um, for these guns, which would be a suppressor. This particular one has just got a, um, a flash hider and you didn't ask for this kind of, this kind of content is available on my other channel, David Dash Laurie Dash Life. And because this is in fact submachine gun. But it would be more known by its name of Mac 10, which is what I believe this right here is modeled after. Proof for the pudding. Now, revolver. Like I said, revolver, I don't really see it. Um, this would best be a black powder gun with the way the cylinder is lined up. But, yeah, that could just be generic. But I really want everyone's opinion out there on this guy here. Because I think this is modeled after that. Anyways, just a fun little video. And uh, we'll do some Lego sets. Some Lego sets from the past tonight as we clean up around here. Till next time. Ciao.